ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. You've clicked on the Weather Extreme video from ABC 3340. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters with you from downtown Birmingham. And let's take a look at some sky cams. What a difference a day makes. Here's the Gadsden sky cam. Great view of the sun and showing a little bit of maybe mist or fog down in the valleys. How about Demopolis? Great shot there of the uh, river as we look north from the Civic Center. And from the highest point in Alabama, Mount Cheeha. A few clouds off to the south, but a beautiful day in store for central Alabama. The cold front is now approaching the southeast coast. That cold front, of course, brought us some rain yesterday morning on general about three quarters of an inch for most locations. 500 millibar pattern overlaid on the water vapor imagery shows uh, a weak ridge coming our way with the trough over the eastern part of the country. Temperatures ahead of that trough still quite warm like they were yesterday, but still rather uh, interesting to see that the temperatures across the midsection of the country certainly moderating and not nearly as cold. A little closer to home, temperatures generally in the lower 50s, although I'm sure some Spots probably reach the uh, upper 40s uh, this morning, uh, just a little bit warmer than I expected. Now, the QPF for the next five days really shows the story. The uh, main band of westerlies and storms will be a little bit further to our north, and not much rain in our forecast until about Thursday. Storm Prediction Center, no severe weather areas and, uh, that are of any significance until day four, and uh, looking like uh, we may have a little bit to worry about off to our West. And just so you remember, hurricane season starts in about a month as we're already into the early part of May, so just thought I'd throw that in. Something we'll be seeing starting the 1st of June. Here's the 06Z GFS model run, and the 06Z GFS model run for Monday shows the upper air pattern, ridge coming over us, uh, allowing a good surface high to come our way. Surface high sticks with us through Tuesday and also through Wednesday, looks like keeping us dry. By Thursday, that uh, little short wave off to the west is coming out uh, at a little bit less than itself. That is a little weaker than what it was uh, the day before. And with that, a surface low over, oh, looks like, uh, what's that, about southeastern Missouri, where the trailing cold front doesn't look nearly as strong as the one we just had. Uh, but that should bring us some rain Thursday and perhaps into early Friday. But by Friday, the uh, surface low is forecast to be off the Virginia coast. And that should mean that we'll be clearing back out. Once again, Pacific origin does not look like it's going to be terribly cold. By Saturday, even though the front is draped in our area, the GFS is suggesting the possibility that we might see a few scattered showers. But I really think that's uh, probably pretty limited. And at 500 millibars uh, a week from today, you can see the pattern relatively flat across the southeastern U.S., and uh, with uh, the possibility of a few little uh, disturbances moving through that flow, uh, and that could uh, help to create a little bit uh, in the way of some scattered showers, but that's verging on voodoo land. Speaking of voodoo land, here's uh, Thursday the 15th, uh, the middle of May, and indeed uh, looking rather stormy with a good surface low, and uh, this sort of has the looks of uh, potentially severe weather, so something we'll Certainly be watching, although it's voodoo and we're not going to uh, put a lot of faith in it. By the end of the period, the 19th of May, looks like a ridge coming our way, and with that, a nice surface high. Well, thanks for tuning in to the uh, Weather Extreme video. I'm ABC 3340 meteorologist Brian Peters. Hope that you have a great Sunday. James will be back with the next one bright and early on Monday morning. Have a great weekend, and God bless.